Hi guys, welcome back to the news. Finally, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, gives condition to end insecurity in the southeast region. See what they are demanding from President Tinibu. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you are joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. So many Southeasterners have been calling for the release of Namdi Kanu, the IPOP leader from the DSS custody. So many people have brought about the motion in the House of Representatives, but then we get to see that uh, the House of Rep leader had, you know, stepped down the motion where they said, see, Mazin Namdi Kanu must be released so that it would bring peace in the southeast region. Mazin Namdikano's release will bring an end to the killings in the southeast region because the insecurity situation in the entire southeast is as a result of the prolonged detention of Mazin Namdikano. And the people have to, you know, really talk about it. That's why Ashuweju Bola and Metinibu must not close eyes to this issue. He has to pay keen attention to this. However, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, have uh, urged the federal government, which is led by Bollard Metinibu, to release Nambikano if it is serious about putting an end to the, to the state of the instability in the southeast. Tinibu is the current leader of the federal government and the IPOP is a group that supports terrorism. But then the IPOP has lashed out at the Nigerian army in a statement that was made public on Friday, condemning the organization for linking it to the ongoing sit-at-home orders and enforcement in the region by, this is made known by Emma Powerful, who serves as the spokesperson for the organization had released the statement. Now, the outfit that supports Biafra, this associated itself from the violent enforcement of the seat at home activity that is taking place in the southeast it issued a stern warning to the commander of the armed forces instructing him not to terrorize the residents of the southeastern region under the guise of hunting down those responsible for enforcing the seat at home order they provided the administration of Bola Tinibu with the recommendation to go into a different course compared to the one that had been adopted by the government that came before it. Now the chief army, Mr. Labaja, will not claim ignorance to all the previous press release written by IPOB led Nandi Kanu, distancing themselves from Simon Ipa and his criminal seat at home enforcers. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, had announced in a statement that um, the chief of uh, army, Mr. Labajash, will not claim ignorance of all the previous press release that have been written by IPOB. You know, on several occasions, the IPOB had written so many uh, press release, so many statements concerning Simon Ipa. For the avoidance of doubt, the IPOB is not in any way responsible for the Monday's, you know, failed uh, seats or the seven days seat at home orders or the purported two weeks seat at home orders and enforcement. The foolish and demanding strategy to stay at home and watch television was convinced and executed by the autopilot group, which is managed by Simon Ipa. And we've made it clear that Simon Ipa and his autopilot gang that he had are neither members of the indigenous people of Biafra, nor do they speak on behalf of Mazin Namikano in their violent execution of sit at home commands. And in addition, we have made it clear that they do not speak on behalf of Mazin Namikano. Well, we remember that uh, before the 2023 presidential election, Simon Ipa wanted to, you know, cause crisis in the southeast region to an extent where he had to impose a compulsory sit-at-home order 
whereby we get to see that some states were kind of observing it, like in Abia, you know, one of the southeast states had observed the seeds at home, but it got to a point whereby the federal government had issued warning that uh, the group called IPOP should not in any way try to truncate the electoral process in Nigeria. We know that the IPOP, they are not in any way concerned about the Nigeria's 2023 presidential election. All they want is their Biafra, you know, nation. And they want to make sure that they get it by all means. But then Simon Nipa was going around trying to cause hard, uh, hard rock. So they had to issue a statement that all those sit at home orders that has been released by Simon Nipa, they do not acknowledge them because Simon Nipa is not one of their own. So my country people, this is really serious. Now, if indeed the federal government and our security agencies are interested in the peace of the Southeast, then they should release Mazen Namdekano unconditionally as pronounced by the appeal court of Nigeria in Abuja and also see their sponsored criminal agent using Kano's detention to perpetrate crime into the obligation and fade away. Now, if indeed the federal government and our security agencies are interested in the peace of the Southeast, then it is indeed the cause that the federal government and our security agencies, they should do the right thing. Well, my country people, the IPOP have spoken. They have made their demands. Everything now lies in the hands of the federal government and Tinibu's government. But Tinibu is not even voicing out a single word concerning the agitations going on in the southeast region. He seems more or less, you know, less concerned about this particular issue. It seems that the IPOB, they have made several cries on several occasions where they wrote letters and then they made press statements. But now they have decided to use a show of force to show the federal government that they are not playing on this issue. But then Simon Nipa, who is in Finland, have been going around with his uh, enforcers who are going around in the southeast region, intimidating people, harassing people, maltreating people, all because they came out with their goose, you know, school children coming out to go to schools, but uh, they are being prohibited as a result of the seats at home order enforced by Simon Ipa in the southeast region. However, Nigerians have reacted. Doing the right thing will settle every problems and every argument. Please, IPOP, do not end insecurity. President Bola Tinibu will supply them bombs and ammunition. Withdraw all your security forces to the south-south and the southwest. Let them do what they like. But the IPOP said that they are not in support of Simon Ipa's seat at home. And now they are telling the Nigerian government that if they want all these seats at home to stop, they should release Nandi Kano. So where do they really belong to? What exactly are they saying? I, I spot Simon Nipa for what he is doing. Because if not for that boy, then some people would have forgotten about Mazin Nandi Kano. Well, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section? Thank you. Bye for now.